Hey, hey, Tony guys is here on a little ride, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, me and my family got to go out of town this week, so I'm shooting a couple videos ahead of time, Lord willing. But, you know, one of the things that I was being, as I'm paying attention and I'm looking, it's, it's a thing that happens that a lot of times in relationships women don't understand and men don't understand either but it's just the nature and I want to remind you of this because it's, it's real important and once you once you get it once you grasp it then you're able to look like the car was going by then you're able to work around this and, and you'll get to the point that you need to be in your relationship a whole lot sooner now, the thing about with males, if you pay attention, and if especially for the mothers, and it may be true with females as well, but for males, one of the things you will notice is that males always push the limit. Males push the limit to the fullest extent. And so the reason why, and a lot of times, I see so many women misquote this, but so many women say, oh, well, if you had to leave them, that ain't your man. Meaning, if you gotta break up or take a break, whatever you would call it. But I would say 99% of relationships that have succeeded, or at least 90% of relationships that have succeeded have had a break. Now, you also hear me say there are no breaks in relationships. And what I mean by breaks in relationships, what I really mean is intentional breaks to where every six months for the life of your relationship, you taking a break. That's what I mean. I don't mean like a, a happenstance break, something that you do out of necessity in the beginning stages of a relationship because what you have to understand is as humans in the beginning you getting to know each other so you getting to know each other only got nine more minutes on this here video so y'all i gotta be gone at nine minutes because i'm picking up something for my wife so what you have to realize is as humans you getting to know each other so there's going to be this period of of testing each other and you're learning each other so, but what a man is gonna do is a man is gonna push the limits as far as we could push the limits so we want to see what exactly can we get away with in our ignorance and our immaturity and this could be human nature but this is something that men definitely gonna do is we're gonna push the limits and we pushing the limits to the point of, no, they didn't. You know the little velvet wrap? That's a little old bitty car, like a little smart car, a little something shaped like a smart, but it ain't a smart car. And they got the velvet, the velvet wrap on it. That wasn't no bug, he's no beetle bug, VW. My goodness, it looked terrible too. And so what you have to understand is that a man is gonna push you to the limits. And, and this is the thing, they come in all different, you know, types and styles and ways. So in one way, in one way it may be, he wanna see if he could get away with cursing. He wanna see if he could curse you out. Another thing, he wanna see if he could stay out all night. Like different men have different quirks, different things. So with me, mine would be, I wanna see how blunt I could talk, how blunt I could talk to a woman, how direct I could talk to a woman. You know, how sharp, the toxicity, now I ain't talking about the mature version of me, I'm talking about the, tox, the toxic version. I wanna be real, hurt your feelings. And if a woman will let me do that, then that'll be my toxicity and that'll be 
what I do in a relationship. See, we don't have that because what my wife did when I went to try her, I went to yell at her. She said, uh, she put her hand up. She said, don't talk to me like that. And I was like, whoa, okay, wow. And so that taught me something. Now I didn't curse already in my natural, in my normal vocabulary. I don't use curse words, if you notice from my videos. And so, but my thing was, I was gonna get my little yelling in. So if I get my little yelling in, you know, raise another voice. I really don't yell and hollering, but, but then, on the toxic side, if that yelling could go, then it might get to, to a little bit of name calling. Then it might eventually get to some physicality. And so one thing leads to another. For another man, it might not be anything like that, verbal or physical. He might want to cheat. His thing might be he want to see can he get away with cheating? What can he do on the cheating side of things? You know, are you going to allow him to come in the house late? You're going to allow him to come in the house late? You're going to allow him to uh, text with another woman? You're going to allow him to call another woman? You know, what you going to allow him to do? And if you're going to allow him to do those things, then that's exactly what he's going to do. As long as you allow it. But when you take and you show, okay, no. This right here got to be shut down. We shutting this right here down. Do not, hey, listen. If you want to come in here late, if you come in here late another time, don't even bother coming and don't bother calling me because we done. You hit him with that right there, and then he going to test you. <clears throat> A man always going to test you. And it's the funniest thing to me. It's the funniest thing to me. Men always, and God bless you, fellas, if you one of the men I'm talking about. I, I do not hear from a man until his woman leave him. It be men in my DMs on Instagram and in my email. Hey, Tony, man, I would love to talk to you, man, to get my girl back. I love her with all my heart, but I was being stupid and I ran her off. If I had a dollar for every time I done read that from a man, I'd be sitting pretty. You hear me? I would be sitting pretty. Do you hear me? Okay. I'm, see, I'm getting ready to change lanes, but this knucklehead, what well, they'll test you Christianity on the road now. He's speeding up and changing right behind me. Hold on, buddy. And so... That's the thing. A man is going to make you leave him. Oh, okay, you done lost your front. Oh, no, you didn't. Thought they lost their front front little parking stop, too. It's like my bear. And a man going to make you leave him. So what you have to be ready and willing to do, to every woman listening to this, you got to be ready to leave him ASAP, you love. Do you hear me? Immediately. The faster you leave him, the mistake that a lot of women make is you let a lot of stuff pass. You let a lot of stuff slide, 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 slide. So then you fed up at three-year mark, two-year mark. No, you want to try to lead this man in the first six months. When he tests you on, and not, listen, you're not leaving this man for snoring. You're not leaving this man, you know, for some foolish now. You leaving this man because he really tried you like a crackhead. Meaning, what you have to do, you look at what he did. And you ask yourself, if this behavior continues, will this be a deal breaker? Will this ruin the relationship? If the answer is yes, then that's when you got to check him on that. Let him know it's absolutely unacceptable. And then if he try you again, you got to leave. Say, you know, um, I don't think it's going to work out and, and we need to take a break. You know, I, I'm not sure this going to work. This not going to work out. And then when you leave him, this the mistake that women make. You lead a man, but then you still talking to him every day. You hollering about you on a break or you gone, but he texts you, you texting him right back. When you lead this man over a potential deal breaker, 
something that is a deal breaker or if done repeatedly will be a deal breaker that's when you have you read the book a woman's influence that's part of your problem if you ain't read the book if you read the book god bless you thank you for loving yourself on that level investing in yourself in the book you're going to read about the 72 hour rule when you lead this man for a deal breaker or a potential deal breaker you got to enact the 72 hour rule and read the book you'll get the whole rule and then that is going because that's going to simulate a complete cold turkey breakup and that man is about to go crazy he finna be emotional roller coaster because he like whoa I ain't no she about that life I ain't no she a lead like that see y'all waste y'all time leaving at year five and that could work too but you want to try to get this leaving out within the first year I just said six months within the first year you want to try to get this leaving out and if you could get that leaving out then that gives that let the man know okay boom that ain't now, if you got you a real bona fide knucklehead, then you might have to leave him two or three times in that first year, even though I've spoke against that, but we're in new day and time, because he might try you with the coming in late, you got to leave him for that. Then he might try you with the getting loud, and you got to leave him for that. Then he might try you, you know, with one other thing, you got to leave him for that. If you know this your husband now, if you ain't convinced that this your husband, you don't believe this your husband, this don't feel like your husband, all right, you leave one time, that's enough. Now, if this your husband, but all this need to be within year one. You don't need to keep this thing long and drawn out now. So understand that right there. But hey, this Tony Gas, I'm here from a little pickup in Hawaii. God bless you. And uh, we'll talk. So I'm gonna shoot another video on the way going back. So it, it may chime in on this or be a little different. And I ain't got the time to go in, 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 in. But hopefully that help you little bit god bless you. and read the book of woman's influence that'll answer the rest of your questions god bless you